Hey everybody, this is Dave, and today I'm going to show you how to get Pandy back. And even better, you're going to get Pandy for either iOS 6 or iOS 7. It works on any device that can run those firmwares. So, in case you don't know what Pandy is, Pandy is a way to download Pandora songs and put them into your iTunes uh, library. This is the icon here for the Apple iTunes. So basically you open up Pandora, there's going to be a banner that comes across, you click it, and it will download the song right into here. And then even better, you can open up your iTunes, and you can go right into your library, and once you sync your phone, you'll see the songs show up in your iTunes library on your computer. And what's good about that is you can share it with any device that plays this sort of media. So this is super spectacular because Pandy actually gives you a receipt for the song just like if you were to purchase it. So I'm going to give you a demo of Pandy at the end uh, but I want to show you how you can get it back. Now you see here this icon this is Pandora Downloader and that's just another way to download Pandora songs but I have it installed on my device because in this in the settings panel you can check all these off and you'll get unlimited skips, Pandora One account, unlimited listening, no monthly limit, no ads, and it just makes it uh, Pandora by itself work so much better. Granted, you can also download songs, but there's no way to really import them into your library as like if you were to purchase them. So have Pandora Downloader installed so you can check off all those things in settings you're going to need the repo which I'm going to show you how to get and in settings I want to show you that I am on firmware uh, 7.0.6 it's an older version of iOS 7 but nevertheless it is iOS 7 now remember this was only for iOS 6 and now it's here for iOS 7 and maybe when iOS 8 gets a uh, jailbroken, uh, we'll be able to put this Pandy on there as well. But I'm not 100% sure because iOS 8 hasn't been jailbroken yet. So let me show you how it, how it works. So I'm going to leave a link in the description of the blog firmwareumbrella.com. By the way, this has nothing to do with Firmware Umbrella. It's just the same creator, Semaphore. Uh, who has a separate project altogether. Now, Firmware Umbrella will always be free. It will be for the jailbreak community. It's a way to get your SHSH so that you can downgrade your firmware. But nevertheless, there's a private repo. It says pay 15 bucks, but when I click pay now with PayPal, it was only 10 bucks. Maybe they're having a discount. So this works with any version of Pandora. I have the latest version of Pandora. I have my iOS on iOS 7. So you pay, and what happens is you'll get an email. And in this email, uh, by the way, they send you updates saying that there's a newer build. But anyway, in this registration, it gives you a custom URL. This is your URL. You're going to click this, and you're going to put um, your UDID into this uh, field. So basically, the field looks like this. And all you have to do is find your UDID, type it right into here. And I'm going to show you how to get your UDID. You're going to go open iTunes with your phone connected. And if you click on your phone and you mm -hmm. click in summary, uh, down right over here, you'll see serial number. And if you click it, you'll get your UDID. If you click again, you'll get your ECID. But you want your UDID. So basically, you take this from iTunes, you throw it into the page for your personal link uh, that you get in the email, that you get the email from Semaphore, uh, from the Pandy Private Club, and then you open up Cydia on your phone. I'm going to show you that. You open up Cydia on your phone, and when you do open up Cydia, we'll let it load. You're going to do edit, add, and you're going to put this right in. 
you're going to put the, uh, I'm sorry, it's in the email, you're going to put this source right into your Cydia. So let me show you that. Um, you just, I have it copied. I'm going to hit paste and it goes right in. And then you click add source. Now, if you try to do this without paying for it, you're not, it's not going to work. Uh, because you registered your UDID, they know what phone is trying to put this source into Cydia. Now you get to register, you register up to five devices. And when you have five devices, it says here, one of five. So this is just my iPhone 5 and I have it registered. Now if I have other iPhones in my family or you have friends or you have people you want to sell uh, to you know, get Pandy, you can do that as well. So once you add the source, you're going to find Tiny Dev Repo. We're going to click on that. And the only tweak you find in there is going to be Pandy, the newest version of Pandy. Or you can go to all packages and then you find the newest version of Pandy. Now you can search Pandy uh, before you have that repo in. And you're going to get these two Pandies that are older versions. They're for iOS 6 only. They don't really work anymore. But now with your new source that you paid for, you're going to be able to install Pandy for iOS 7 and iOS 6, no matter what version or what uh, increment of firmware you have. So um, I hope I'm making this understood. Uh, so once again, let's recap. Uh, you're going to go to the private repo. You're going to pay the 15 or 10 bucks that it is. You're going to go and open up your email. You're going to click on your personal link. You're going to put in your UDID that you find in iTunes by clicking here and getting your UID. Put it right into here. And now you have your permission to install the source that you get from the, um, the email. So now you put it in and you get your Pandy. You load up your Pandy and now you have Pandy. So I'm going to show you that I have Pandy. I'm going to go into my tweaks and settings. And here is, um, where are you? Oh, I didn't install it. I have the source, but I didn't install it. So let me install it and I'll show you that process. So we have Pandy, we're going to hit install, and we're going to hit confirm. And because we're registered our UDID, it's going to load up. You're not going to see this screen if you're, you didn't pay for it. So there's no way around it. You have to pay for it. There actually is a way around it, but uh, that's just too detailed of a video. You can, um, after you download it to one device, you can piece by piece take it out with iFile, but we're not going to get into that. Um, I did that one time before, and it's just a costly step. It's better off just to pay the $10 or the $15 that you need to pay. So we're going to restart, respring our phone, and now we're going to have Pandy. I'm going to show you, and then we're going to just do a quick demo. And then you decide for yourself. If you think about it, each song that you buy on iTunes, you pay a dollar. So pay 10 bucks and you can do unlimited songs. I have 32 gigs on here. And when I get my new iOS 6 device, um, iPhone 6 device, I'm going to have all this, you know, because I bought the uh, 128 gigabytes. So I'm going to use this old phone that has 64 gigabytes. And I'm going to use it mainly just for downloading Pandora uh, songs. So let's open up. And let's go into settings, and I'm going to show it to you here. I'm sorry I make detailed videos, but uh, you know if there's any questions, go ahead and ask in the comments. I'm sure there's not going to be because I make detailed videos. So the best way to do this is to allow recording toggle. That's the banner that shows up. Otherwise, you would import everything, and you don't want to do that because you'll fill up quick. And you also want to include album check. And what's going to happen is it's going to look for... Um, albums, songs, artists, and it's going to find out if you already have that song in there, and then the banner will just disappear. 
Now, if there's a song that the banner shows up and you don't want it, you just swipe it away. So let me show you a demo now of Pandora. Uh, of course, because of copyright, I'm not going to allow the songs to play too long. I'm going to pause them out. And I'm going to show you. Here's the banners that show up. Okay? So we're going to keep going until I find a song that I actually like. Um, so we'll go to the next song and we'll pause it there. So now if I wanted to uh, just say I wanted to save this song. I don't want this song, I swipe it away. I tap this song and it will import. Now I have my iTunes library completely empty. I'm going to show it to you. See, no songs whatsoever, no albums, no artists. Nothing in Pandora. I mean, in, in iTunes. So now I imported that song, and I'm going to show you now. In my iTunes, I have no content, but now watch. Boom, it shows up. And there it is, folks. You have a way to import Pandora songs, not only into your iOS iTunes library, but you're going to be able to load it into your iTunes. Now watch this. I'm going to back up my phone and on this phone what's it going to say it's going to say that i have that song you don't know uh from tom perry uh, uh tom petty excuse me so it's going to look you know uh, back up the phone it's going to or you can do transfer purchases go to device transfer purchases and it's going to transfer because iTunes actually thinks that you purchased the song because you get a receipt with it. I would go into iFile and show you the receipt, but take my word for it. So once we have everything synced up, come on, I should have pre-backed up and when it took this long. So let's see if it transfers. And if it doesn't transfer, then you just go up here and click transfer purchases and you're going to see the Tom Petty song whiz by um, well, there's a couple things so whatever so let's go into library and now you're going to see Tom Petty right there right there into our iTunes library into our iPhones iTunes library with a receipt so that you can put it on any one of your devices you got an iPad throw the songs on uh, let's go do one more song and then we'll wrap up this video. So we'll go to here. Now, you, that staticky uh, sound is because I'm using reflector and for some reason it doesn't transfer the audio. But believe me, if I wasn't mirroring my phone, it would be perfect. So now here it says tap to import. Bam. Tap to import. It's so simple. You can't get an easier way to get free music. Um, now, as a disclaimer, I would say uh, pay for your songs, and I don't advocate piracy, uh, just like Semaphore doesn't, but if you want to have a little collection, your own personal collection, go right ahead and pay the 10 to 15 bucks to get your UDID registered with the private repo and have your Pandy for your iOS 6 and iOS 7 devices. Any questions, leave them in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you on the next video.